Orioles catcher Adley Rutschman joining us right now. Adley, great to see you. Flo's looking good. Yeah. Hey, Thanks what's up? You got a good crew. Uh, a good crew here. Adley, how you doing today? I'm do I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? We're good, man. So, do do your pitchers care about wins? We were just talking about Kershaw picked up two hundo last night and he was fired up. Do you guys still talk about the stat a lot? Because I know the younger crowd doesn't look at it as much and and looks at all the advanced stuff that Jonesy doesn't love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's an awesome, awesome milestone. Uh, it's tough, though. Like, as you guys know, when you're going through the season, you're just, like, you're focused on the game to game. Uh, but you definitely celebrate those milestones for sure. Adley, what's the uh, what's the deal? You're, you're rocking a goatee. Are you the last person in the big leagues to have, to have chin hair, or is that all you can grow right now? <laughs> <laughs> this is, like, this is maxed out, like, two weeks right here. So this is the best I got. See, this is this is what I this is what I try to tell people. Like when you have a superstar who can only grow a little bit of chin hair, and you got dudes in high school that are like reclassing three times, <laughs> and they got full beards. Like Adley might grow another inch. Like I'm, I, I, I'm so, like I'm so excited to have you on the show. But I want to I want to throw it over to Jonesy because he's the Oreo hierarchy. Yes. I know oh. he was your favorite player. No chance. He was your favorite. No, I want to know who your favorite player was growing up before we get into anything. Um, so I'm a I'm a West Coast guy. Um, so I saw I remember going to Mariners games when I was a kid. Uh, like Richie Sexton, uh, Ichiro. Um, but I think like Albert Pujols was probably my favorite guy. Oh, That's yeah. awesome. That's great one. Ali, how you doing, brother? Uh, I know it's good. Still, how you doing? I don't even know. It's good. Yeah, it's one thirty out there. Um, how has Baltimore treated you? Just, I mean, I, obviously social media. I haven't been there in a, in a while during the season, but looking social media looks amazing. How they have they've embraced you, but how's it for you? As you know, you're the young heartthrob of the city. You know, hell of a player. How is they? How how is the just they treated you? Just so you know, at the ballpark in a way. Uh, it's been it's been awesome. Uh, everyone's treated me great. I mean, honestly, since the moment I got into Baltimore, uh, like post draft, uh, they welcomed me on the field, and you know everyone was cheering. And um, so I've I've always felt super welcomed in the city, and uh, it's I mean it's been a great experience. I like really can't ask for anything more, to be honest. So when we have you on in 10 years from now, well, now nine years, because we like to celebrate anybody that gets 10 years in the big leagues, and we're asking you about your career, what do you want individually? And also, what do you want to have brought to Baltimore in that 10 years? Um, I think, honestly, like just hearing uh, the way guys talk about players that they've played with um, – I, like I, for me personally, I, I would want like my teammates and stuff and people who played with me to say like more than anything physically or, or talent wise that I was a good teammate, um, you know, that I brought it to the field every day, like regardless of how I was doing, um, like going hot or cold, uh, that like I was the same guy every day, did my work the same and like and was a good teammate. Uh, I think I think that means like more than anything, just. Because uh, baseball, like baseball careers, are short in the grand scheme of life, and so um, like those relationships that you make, um, to me, are going to be the things that like matter way more uh, than like what you do talent wise. Because um, you know, I think people remember way more like how you treated them than anything else. And um, for me, like, I, like I want to give it my best shot while I'm able to do it, and um, like I don't want to have any regrets at the end of the day. And I, I think we got a good thing in Baltimore going on right now, and so um, like win as much as possible and and see what we can do together as a team Adley you were a Yanks fan growing up right um so my dad was friends with Scott Brocious um so when he was I think he was MVP in 2003 um if I'm correct but uh so like kind of like Yankees fan like when I was really really young uh but once he stopped playing uh you know shifted over to more of the Mariner side Right, right. Makes sense from where from being in Oregon. So my question on that is, the Yanks have Otani in town right now. 
They're selling Otani jerseys in their team store, which, hey, good for them. They're making extra cash on it. Would you be okay with the Yanks selling Adley Rutschman jerseys in their team store? Um, I, I mean, it <laughs> doesn't really matter to me, uh, to be honest. I, I don't know. I don't really have an opinion on it. <laughs> hey, the Orioles right now. I mean, it's a scrappy team. You never give up. Um, I always, it's like a two-part question. One is, what's not – why you always go to the pitcher to the to meet the pitcher when you got all that gear on? You're already doing too much running as is. I don't know why you do it. I love it. I don't know if you got it from your college days or always done it, but I don't know why you do it because it's a, you're already you're tired. You're being crouching down, um, but I, the the outlook of this team right now, like you guys, just annoy the hell out of everybody. They people know y'all coming to town. You don't give up at bats. You score most of your runs in the sixth through ninth, ninth innings. Like, what is up with this team's resilience? Because I watched the game, and I'm like, uh, the guy got 10 strikeouts in the first inning. I just 0-0, zero, zero, and then six runs. Like, what's up with this team's resilience? Um, yeah, so, like, first thing with, with the catching, uh, that's just been something that I've done, like, since I was young. Um, you know, I like, I, I just love – love meeting pitchers, man. I, I like, I love sharing those moments together and, um, right. letting them know, like I'm, I'm there for them. Uh, and it's just been one of those things I've always done. And, uh, it's always felt like, um, uh, you know, like authentic. Um, I just like, I love it. I love it. And, uh, just as far as our team goes, um, I, I think we got a lot of guys who are really just like committed to like the process that we got going on in the clubhouse right now. We got a lot of guys who are just like, committed to kind of just you know that mindset of like you know down but not out ever I don't think we're ever um I don't think we ever think we're out of it and um when you got nine guys in the lineup who are all committed that to that same belief it's um you know it creates you know that unity and just kind of that fight um and I, I think when you have that kind of culture it's uh, contagious Adley, I want to mix in some fan questions as we're going along here. So this one, I mean, he's actually a broadcaster. He's in the media. But Clinton Yates, who loves college baseball, he said, would love if you asked Adley about the importance of college baseball as he sees it. Just for, like, guys' development or, like? I would say, I mean, he didn't specify, but my two angles would be the fan factor, entertainment factor of college baseball and its meaning in the NCAA landscape and then also in terms of development for someone like you who grew a lot when you were at school? Yeah. I, I mean, for me, I think like college was something that I definitely needed. I, I wasn't ready out of high school as far like to go into the pro system for sure. Uh, from like just a, a mental standpoint, like knowing what I was doing uh, for me, like having the structure of like college where you're practicing, like learning, you know, all the little details of, uh, doing like first and thirds and and like fun defenses and having 6 a.m. weights and just being on like that kind of strict routine for me like really taught me a lot and you know those three years of development really helped me so I know there's obviously a lot of people have success coming from high school but for me that was just kind of like I guess my journey um, and then just being able to like play in front of a lot of fans on a consistent basis I think helped like me deal with uh like i guess the the pressure that comes with playing in front of a lot of people on a consistent basis because it is a huge jump from high school um so i guess that's, that's my two cents you played you played at a big league college too i think that that's fair but you led those boys too so i think that's a that's a great but you got drafted by your hometown team i mean essentially hometown the mariners was that was that tough to turn down um, I mean, a little. I, well, the thing is, I like. I think it was more of a, I don't know, like I guess a courtesy more than anything. Um, I, yeah, uh, like I, I think that every, everyone knew I was going to college. Um, so, like I, yeah, I, I don't think it was really ever too much of an option, just because I was really committed to going to college at the time. So, yeah, I hear that. I wanted to ask you, it's, um, it's contracts. It's been a lot of contracts for young players. Um, and, I mean, it's good and bad. I think a lot more good. Obviously, you can take care of your family, take care of your chickens. Um, 
have, I mean, again, ask, answer if you want to or not, have any, uh, well, first of all, who's your agent? That makes a big difference. Um, there, it's out of California, um, Beverly Hills Sports Council. Okay, so it's not Boris. Okay, well then, so, I mean, it's, poss <laughs> it's a possibility things can happen in season uh, and before free agency. But have any preliminary, any hint of anything towards you as you've seen, uh, you know, just other players on other teams, other organizations, other situations, uh, sign any extensions? Have Sorry, sorry, what was that? You're have saying, I, have you had any, combos, right? Is that what you're saying, Jonesy? Has he yeah, had have you had any combos towards anything like that? Oh, no. No, I've been pretty focused on just, like, playing, I guess. I don't know. I No. Good. Keep it clean. I, I've got <laughs> some more bank. Yeah, there you go. I, well, Jonesy, I mean, you went through that with Baltimore, right? Yeah, I was, in my fourth, I was in my fourth year, yeah. Fourth year, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what was that like? D did you do it during the season? I did, and they started in spring training, and then we worked it out by like like two months. And I was like, they was like, we want to lock you up. I'm like, okay, I ain't got no. In the, let's stop. We don't want to talk in season. <laughs> from, the, from the streets, bro. Let's talk. <laughs> I, I like it. Hey, I got a few more fan questions for you. Uh, this one's pretty in depth. Mark Dixon said. He seems to be taking more outside half pitches to the opposite field this year than last year. Is that the case? Did he make a conscious effort on that in the offseason? Um, I, no. I, for me, like, I, like in college and stuff, I've always been able to, um, like, go with pitches pretty well. Um, so I guess I kind of got back to that um, this offseason. Uh I don't know. I, there's something that comes with like slowing down my load for me that allows me to have more time to, I guess, process pitches and be able to like outside pitches, hit them the opposite field, inside pitches, turn on it. Um, so just kind of slowing down, I guess, my load and that, that aspect of the game allows me to be able to like put better swings on the ball, thus like taking pitches to where they're supposed to be going. Are you gonna are you gonna have more than four bags this year? Everybody's talking about the new bases, all this <laughs> stuff. And I know you're over there like combating it. And then once you answer that, then I gotta I gotta follow on that. I don't know. I mean I, I have one attempt right now and I got I got thrown out. So we're not looking too good right now, but we're gonna we'll keep trying. Tell my guy tell my guy at first base to send you because that's Sanders is like an absolute peach of a human being. He's got to send you. But the question is, how are you guys combating it as far as from, you know, from the dugout, getting the signs? Hey, looking in, you know, he's over here giving you what, whatever the, you know, does, does Hyde run that, the running game or who runs the running game? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think a uh, combination of him and Freddie – and I, honestly, I don't really know, but I think it's I think it's mainly those two, and uh, probably some analytics in there as well. But I, I really don't know. Oh, I mean, I mean, from you to like, who gives you the signs from the dugout? Does Freddie give them to you, or does does Hyde give them to you, or do you or do you call your own running game when you're behind the dish? Uh, me, I guess. As far as like signs go, like I'm I'm the one doing it most of the time, and then uh, sometimes we'll get like like signs from, I don't even, I don't know how much I can share on this. But. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, um, but how, how are you guys combating it then? I don't care who the signs are. Like, like what are things that you guys, like, do you guys have to talk to pitchers more about keeping runners close? Do you have to, because you know, some teams, including you guys are running wild. So what are the, what is the discussion that's different from last year that it is this year? Um, I'd say it's just, like making guys more aware of who the run threats are on the other team, um, who we have to be extra conscious about as far as like hold patterns go, uh, because guys got to be good with holds and being selective about our, our picks. Um, so, I mean, it's just a higher emphasis on that, I guess. 
By the way, Adley, as someone who's asked questions for a decent amount of time at this point, I, I know I might look 12, but I'm actually, I'm actually in my mid-30s. I've been in the game for a while. When you guys are in the playoffs soon enough, one day, and they go, hey, Adley, what's your game plan about how to beat the Yankees tonight or something like that? Instead of like doing the cookie-cutter baseball answer, like, oh, we just got to execute whatever, just be like, I'm not telling it's the playoffs. It's a game plan. <laughs> just like Kratz, he's trying to get all the inside secrets of the O's right now. You can just be like... I'm not telling. We're going to go play the game and you're going to see what happens. So anyway, let me mix in a, uh, a fan, another fan question. We have some video for this too, because I don't think a ton of people know this. So I want to bring this out. Although one of our fans in the chat right now, Eric said, would he rather try and tackle Christian McCaffrey again or hit against Felix Bautista? <laughs> in open field, uh, I'd rather, <laughs> hit, rather hit off Felix Bautista. I don't want to look... <laughs> I mean, they're both going to make me look dumb, probably, but, uh, yeah. All right, give go. me the play-by-play, -play, Adley. I need it. Oh, well, we were trying to kick away from him, but if you kind of saw in the beginning, they kept doing the switch where he would, like, as I was running up to kick, they'd, um, they'd switch guys. Um, so he ended up getting the ball on that because we were trying to kick away from him the whole game. And then, um, you know, just ran down, a little Oklahoma drill, tried to – Pick a hole and you know stuck him. Did you Not very well? But. Did you help him up right there? Was that you helping him up at the end of the play? Yeah, yeah, that was me. You are such you're a civil servant. That is unbelievable. <laughs> That's too nice. I mean, it's it's Christian McCaffrey. You gotta I gotta get my time and try and have a little <laughs> combo. <laughs> Now That's I gotta awesome. now I gotta lay out for for this because we have the video I think of your high school field goal. Now I think this story is probably more prevalent, Claudia. I think we have the video of that, or maybe we don't. Can you walk us through? There it is. What happened? Like this is an absolute crank. 63. 63. Jeez. Yeah. So this is uh, this is quarterfinals of the state playoff in football we are at home and before the game we're like you you do your field goals and you go out to like basically as far as you can go and you kind of find your like quote unquote range for the day and so i was kicking from like 65 before the game and so our coach is like all right we got 65 and in today and we get to halftime and there's like five seconds left in half and i think our assistant coach calls timeout and we're because we're at like the what the 47 yard line or something. And um, our head coach is like, what are you doing? And he's like, let's kick a field goal. And our head coach is like, all right. So we send out field goal unit, 63 yards. And it, this was at the end of half. Uh, so everyone got to like storm the field afterwards. And we got to go into halftime in the quarterfinals. So it's pretty cool. That is awesome. I love that. All right, I got another uh, fan question for you. Joan, do you want to do yours first? Oh, about Sam, food? just, uh, yeah, about food, man. Baltimore is such an awesome food place. We have, what's the spots you've hit up? I know that, you know, yeah, you go ahead. What's the spots you've hit up so far? Um, so I, I think one of the first places I ever went when I was in Baltimore was Jimmy's, uh, famous seafood, and, and they've always been, like, unbelievable, like, uh, treated like Orioles guys great and oh, okay. uh, also yeah and they also have great food so that's kind of a win-win um big big breakfast guy um so like i try and find different breakfast spots so i'll kind of mosey around and uh you know try and find different like coffee shops and, and breakfast spots but um i'd say like um you know jamie's always been good to me and uh there's a couple other spots in baltimore don't give your secrets. You don't want nobody knowing where you're at. <laughs> <laughs> smart. You, hey, know, smart. you should know. You were there forever. You've got all yeah, the I know, spots. And I, I, all, the, all the spots I went, nobody was ever at. So, I, I mean, I, I, can, I can send you the right places. I'll send you them off, the, off, off so you know where to go when nobody will bother you. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> hey, a, a multiple people asking about just the art of switch hitting, how challenging it is to find consistency and – why you started doing it in the first place was it little league action or you picked it up later uh so i was a natural righty um swung left-handed like probably like 10 abs a year uh from like fourth grade through eighth grade and then my freshman year of high school i had like a injury like i um 
and basically I could only swing left-handed. Uh, so my whole freshman year of high school, I only hit left-handed, and um, I think had I not done that, I probably would have just been stuck with right-handed because it was way more comfortable. But since I did that, it uh, forced me to hit left-handed. So since then, I've been a switch hitter based on pitcher. And, um, yeah. I like it. All right, one more for me from the fans. Noah said, and we had someone, at least one or two, ask this to Jonesy's Twitter as well. Could you guys bring the pie in the face back for post-game celebration? <laughs> Jonesy was like the king of that back then. But you guys have, is it still going? The water bong and the sprinkler action too? There's a lot of theatrics in the dugout right now. Yeah, there is. Yeah, we got the uh, we got the sprinkler for second base and the Homer hose for home runs, <laughs> home and then just the the turn on the faucet for for singles. Wow. Hey man, there's a lot of wasted water out there, man. <laughs> pies waste are just wasted. Water. Yes, wa- pies wasted <laughs> custard, but no hydration. <laughs> Who came uh, up with it? Hydration. Who came up with that, Adley? Uh, I think it was so. I think it was uh, Irvin and Aiken uh, were the were the guys who came up with it. I like that. There's, there's a celebration per bag, right? Which ends with yeah. it, they're not wasting it, Jonesy. They're drinking the water. Yeah, but when they do the hose, they're they you know they're yeah they're sprinkling and it's turf right there. So no, no, it's dirt. I'm sorry, it's dirt. It used to no, be no, it's dirt. It needs a little. It, it bit used of water. to be turf. I mean, I'm saying it used to be dirt. It used to be, you know, that, that's your home. It, it used to be turf. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Hey, Adley, Long this was fun, ago. man. We really appreciate you coming on. And, and also, obviously, a ton of fans had questions for you. Thanks for being a good sport about it, too. And, and good luck the rest of the way, man. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.